Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that like button and subscribe. The fancy YouTube algorithms will rank us higher and enable us to keep making great content for you. We have also set up a Patreon account with several reward tiers, access to our Discord server, and our source code. Thank you for your time, now let's get into the video. Okay coders, in this video I am going to add another script to our scripting series in Unity. We have covered a lot of functionality so far in Unity and we still have a ways to go before we complete this series. For this particular video, we will be creating a script that makes our camera shake. This functionality can be really useful for a variety of scenarios, so let's go ahead and create our script. I'm just going to right click create a C sharp script and I can just call this camera shaker. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up our script and get to work. Drag it over here for you guys. Okay, as per the usual, we are just going to set up our variables first. So I'm going to create a public float power, and I'm going to set that to an initial value of, uh, let's go with 0.7f. I'm also going to create a public float for our duration. And we can set this to 1.0f, just initial value. We're going to need a public transform that we can just call our camera transform or we'll just call this camera just keep things simple we are also going to need another public float for our slow down amount public bool for whether we should shake or not so i can just call this should shake and set this to false and finally we need two private variables one's going to be a vector three that i can just call start position and a float for our initial duration. Okay, so let's go through these variables really quickly so we know what they're going to do. Our power is going to be the effect or how much of an effect this script has on our camera. The duration will control how long this effect lasts. The camera is just a reference for our camera. The slowdown amount will basically control how quickly we slow down. And let's go ahead and give this a quick value of 1.0 F as well. And our public bull should shake is just controlling whether we should shake or not. Okay, inside of our start function, we're going to set up our camera and say camera.main.transform, whoops, lowercase t. Our start position is going to be equal to camera.local position. And we're gonna set our initial duration equal to our duration. Okay, now let's set up our update function. The update function is pretty simple. We're just going to do an if check and say if we should shake, then we're gonna do something. So we, ha we have to do another if check here and we're gonna say if our duration is greater than zero, then we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do something else. So let's fill out our if first. So the first thing we're gonna do is say that our camera dot local position is equal to our start position plus a random dot inside unit sphere multiplied by our power. So this will get a random point within a, a unit sphere and our power just controls how far out it will go. Now the next thing we need to do is reduce our duration. So we'll just say that duration is minus equals time dot delta time multiplied by our slowdown amount. Okay, so now we need to fill out our else statement. So we're just going to very easily say should shake is gonna to equal to false, which, which will stop the shaking. We're gonna set our duration equal to our initial duration, and we're gonna reset our camera's position. So we're gonna say camera dot local position is equal to our start position. Okay, so let's go through this really quickly so that we understand what we're gonna be doing. So we're saying if we should shake and our duration is greater than zero, then we're, we are going to change the position of our camera based on a random dot inside unit sphere. And we're also going to reduce our duration. Now, when the duration has dropped below zero or is equal to zero, then we will stop the shaking. We will reset our duration value and we will reset our camera's position. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Go back out to our scene. We're just gonna click on our main camera here and we can just drag this over and put it on our main camera. Now let's press play. And nothing should happen because should shake is not going to be set initially. So what I'm gonna do now is just click should shake and see what happens. And as you can see, it shakes really, really hard, really fast, right? Like it's really sort of crazy, like a really powerful earthquake. And we can actually increase our power here. And when we do that, we can see it gets even more hectic. So if I drop it down to like 0.2, for example, and do it again, it's a much more reduced shake 
I can also increase the duration which will make it last for a longer period of time. And I can increase the slowdown amount. So if I go by two, then it decreases the amount of time. So again, you can increase or decrease the duration. If you decrease the slowdown amount though, it actually lengthens the process as well. So this is a pretty uh, useful script. I've used it in a couple of games. And typically what you will do is if you have a really large enemy in your scene, for example, then you could have it walking. And if your character is within a certain distance of that character, then whenever it steps, then you could set should shake equal to true. You could also do this whenever you get hit or like if a bomb goes off close by, then you could also set should shake equal to true and that will cause the camera to shake. So there are several ways to implement this. But again, this is just another short scripting tutorial by Renaissance Coders. So that is actually going to do it for this tutorial. We are, of course, going to be continuing with our scripting series. As I said earlier, we are going to pick back up with the 2D AI flocking series on Monday. We did have a couple of big announcements this week. We are now on Patreon as well. So if you guys haven't checked that out, please check that out now. We are doing access to the source code and several other really fun things like Discord and giving our subscribers and our community uh, more access to us as developers. And one final announcement is that our community challenge will be ending tonight, so be sure to get in your projects today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.